For the unprepared, experiencing a migraine aura can be an unsettling and confusing experience. But today, we understand auras better than we ever have. An aura is often a warning sign that a migraine headache is about to begin. Auras begin up to an hour before the headache starts and are typically 30 minutes to an hour long. Although less than 30% of migraine headache sufferers experience an aura, some patients have been known to develop auras years after their migraine headaches begin. So every migraine sufferer should know about them. If you don't know what an aura is like, you might start by looking at pieces by Pablo Picasso. Patients who have experienced visual auras say they are phenomenally like Picasso's cubist pieces. It is widely speculated that Pablo Picasso suffered from migraine with aura and that these auras provided some of the inspiration for his groundbreaking new style of artwork. Physiologically, an aura is due to changes that take place in the cortex, the outer layer of the brain. When a person begins to develop an aura, it is believed that activity in nerve cells in one or more parts of the cortex first become excited and then become depressed. With time, this change in activity spreads across the cortex, impairing the function of the body parts controlled by these cells. Auras can take on many forms, but the most common auras are visual, which produce a change, illusion, or distortion in sight. What is common to most auras is that they move or grow with time. Rarely, patients who experience visual auras report incredibly detailed hallucinations. Lewis Carroll, who is best remembered as the author of Alice in Wonderland, was a migraine headache sufferer who famously experienced hallucinogenic auras. In fact, many of Alice's bizarre experiences in the book were actually descriptions of auras that Lewis Carroll had experienced. Sensations of rapidly shrinking or growing larger, double vision, and an impaired sense of time, all colorfully illustrated by Alice's adventures, are rare migraine aura symptoms. In fact, they have actually come to be known as Alice in Wonderland syndrome. Not all auras are visual. For some patients, an aura manifests itself as numbness or a pins and needles sensation in the hand that can move into the arm and tongue. Other patients experiencing an aura can have a persistent buzzing sound or even lose their hearing for brief periods of time. Because auras occur almost immediately before a migraine headache, they can actually help patients to avoid migraine headache. There are extremely effective classes of abortive medications which can stop a migraine attack from occurring particularly if you take them at the right time. The movies in this series can be viewed in any order. If you wish to watch these clips in their original sequence, then the next clip is Chocolate, Chinese Food, and Stormfronts, Identifying Your Headache Triggers.